Hello everybody, my name is Shai, welcome back to my channel, and today's video is going to be, by popular demand, facial expressions. So a lot of you guys voted on this on my last poll, so uh, here it is. And if you find any of these tips helpful, then if you draw anything, make sure to link me in your community tab and I will be able to check it out and we can all share our art together. So let's get going. Okay, so the first step, well, not step, the first tip I have for drawing facial expressions is eyebrows. Eyebrows are a crucial part of being able to alter and convey different kinds of emotions. So I'm just going to have a few examples up on screen here while I continue to talk. So for this first example, we're just going to have like a neutral just a neutral expression like kind of a smile is he smiling if you're not we don't know but in this example the eyebrows are just going to be resting on his face just just sort of sitting there <laughs> um, so this expression doesn't really have much to it he's just kind of blankly staring off into the void but this is going to be a good base for when we start to add more emotion so if we were to move the eyebrows down a little, he would look a little downcast, a little sad, maybe a little mopey, um, like I don't know, poor guy looks like he just dropped his chili dog or something. <laughs> but here if we move the eyebrows and the ears down and we gave him a little frown, that rhymed, uh, <laughs> he looks a little sadder and a little more um, depressed. No. Guy needs a hug. Anyway, um, so for this third expression, we're gonna make him look like mischievous, kind of cheeky, looks like he's gonna get into trouble, or it could be cocky, confident, whatever you want it to be. So here we move the eyebrows downwards, kind of like he's angry, but when you combine angry eyebrows with like a little smirk, then it turns into like this cocky, confident kind of look. Um, if we were to pair it with a frown, then he would look more like ticked off or annoyed. It all depends on how you combine the facial features to make them convey the emotion that you want. So for this last example, it's just kind of meh. <laughs> like, so if we move the eyelids down, eyelids are another um, element that you can adjust in order to get your idea across. So here, the eyebrows are going to be kind of, they're not completely angry, they're more like the sad expression, except we're just giving him a little, a little droopy eyelid, so maybe he's tired, or maybe he's kind of, uh, he's kind of just blank, like, meh. <laughs> and if you give him a little frown, he just looks like, I am so done with you right now, just stop talking. <laughs> so here are the four expressions. So we have neutral, we have sad-ish, we have cheeky, and we have meh. So my second point is to use references. Now using references is not the same as tracing or copying someone else's art. Using references is when you look or study at someone else's artwork and look at how they did it, study the elements that make it unique or whatever you might like about it. You just nitpick at different details that you would want to include in your own work. So the references that I have up on screen are drawn by Tyson Hess, who was the main art director for Sonic Mania Adventures, among other animations. Um, these are the expression sheets for that mini-series, and here you can see that Tyson does a great job of nailing down these characters and keeping them consistent and on model while also being um, while also being expressive enough being able to exaggerate their proportions in order to convey various emotions. Okay and here are some final tips before we close out the video for today. Um, tip number one is to adjust the eyebrows in order to change the expression of the character. 
Tip number two is eyes, mouths, and even noses can add authentic energy to an expression. So adjusting and playing around with these different features and elements can help to convey the emotion that you want to convey. Tip number three is study reference sheets from animations, TV shows, video games, whatever hand-drawn media that you'd like, or even 3D, like Disney, Pixar, anything like that. Tip number four is to just experiment with different faces and emotions, like try drawing comics, try draw making your own little stories, like anything that you'd want, or maybe just drawing random faces in your sketchbook. Anything is fine as long as you're getting in the practice and you're having fun and you're experimenting with different things to see what works for you. So with that said, I'd like to thank everyone for watching all the way to the end of this video. Um, if you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new. Um, and yeah, I hope everyone has a wonderful, amazing day. Goodbye!